Okay, now, this is a big one because I'm starting a series on how to do a podcast. And this is the first in the series. Now, before we do a podcast, because we're using iWeb, uh, we need to do one thing that we've got to get into the habit of. Really, really uh, important it is. Okay, and that is to get to your folder called, go to your home folder, I know I've done this a hundred times, but you must do this. Library, Application Support, iWeb, your Domain or Domain Sites folder. Right click or Control click it. Um, duplicate, grab it, drop it onto the desktop. Now we've got a fresh copy that is not stuffed up of your side and that means now we can start to play with iWeb okay let's have a look at iWeb so in other words we can always go backwards if things don't work and you should do this probably best to um, number these you know um, double click in here and say you know one so and save it somewhere okay next one you, you save make it number two or put a date in there so you can go backwards constantly because there are a lot of people who say oh you know I've got a, a problem with publishing my iWeb um, now and and I don't know what's happened now you can go backwards with these to find out which one uh, had the corruption or the problem in it you don't have to rebuild the site or it may be that you can identify oh yeah I'd put that picture in and apparently there is a, a problem from time to time with particular picture formats that can corrupt its ability to publish. Okay, so enough of that. Let's um, click on iWeb and get it up. There's uh, the old site that we've been playing with in the iWeb tutorials. Now, if you haven't uh, had a look at the iWeb tutorials, can I recommend that you go there? They're free and they're on my site, which is australianmac.com. Okay, now let's create an iWeb page, which you don't need to do to make one uh, to make a podcast, but uh, let's do it anyway to have a look. We'll use the elegant site. That looks pretty good. Choose the one that says podcast and let's have a look and see what we get. Now, first of all, you'll see it up there. I might just drag it down to the bottom. Um, there we are. Now, this is what it's made up of. It's made up of a front page and a set of entries which will be there. See, so they've got a, a placeholder entry called Mad About Greece and an archive, which is where all of your podcasts will be stored as well. So three elements to this page. Now, your title, which you can change. Um, and I think that reflects, let's test it out. Um, let's just call that test. And then press return. Uh, no, it doesn't uh, change a damn thing. It changes it in the menu, but not up here. So you can change that to what title your podcast is going to be. Now, this is a trick for beginners that gets stuffed up all the time. Uh, caught me out. This is a placeholder for the picture that you're going to use or the graphic you're going to use that if you publish to an iTunes store, this is the graphic that iTunes Store will use to show your podcast. Now, it needs to be in a PNG or JPEG format. Uh, there may be other formats, but those two it definitely works for. And it needs to be square um, and roughly 300 by 300. Um, I think a minimum of 300 by 300, they say. That's pixels. Um, and... Uh, that's that bit, okay? Then what you got is this text here. Now, this is a bit, you see how it's got all of this here? Uh, it's got all these different bits of text and so forth. Actually, it's this bit here that you, that's in the text is the uh, summary or description that goes with your podcast. So this gets put up. All of this gets stored in a thing called an RSS file, uh, which is rss.xml. Uh, and uh, if you look at the um, iWeb uh, tutorials I've done, 
you'll see how you can find them and change them because you will need to change them a little bit if you want to get a successful podcast up because there are some problems with iWeb at the moment um, until it's updated with the next release, hopefully, in of iLife. Okay, this is here is another placeholder that you can um, put uh, drop things onto. So this is a list of excerpts from your blog entries. It says edit the text on the entry page. Okay, so you edit the text here, down here, on the entry page. This is the text that you edit. Let's just try that. Um, testing, we'll just put testing in there about that. And uh, testing two <laughs> there go back to the page here and yep they're right that's exactly what it does um, in fact if we go back to the entries and we drop say something else in there rather than this which is a, a little little movie um, we would find that that would be reflected again on this test page here so don't play around with this test page because that can also cause problems um, and uh, so that's interesting. Now, the, the, the interesting thing or the, the different thing about this is we're not actually going to record this, obviously, in iWeb because you can't record a podcast in iWeb. You've actually got to produce a podcast using something else. So um, I'm going to stop here and the next one I'm going to do is going to be on how it is you do that using GarageBand. Okay. See you there.